Okay. KK4WX. Back with you again. KK4WX. I want to show you a picture of my in fed half wave transformer. This is it. And I've got two wheat pole or two holes drilled in the face of it for ventilation. Don't really think it hurts it. According to Steve Ellington, he said that uh, you know you could just pour water over this thing; it wouldn't hurt it. I've also got some little wheat holes down here in the bottom of it drilled in it so that it'll have a way to drain if it does get any water and uh this eye hook all it does is just support the wire the antenna as you can see i've got it coming down here and it's hooked to uh this support here which goes to your ferrite cores and your transformer this is your ground, wire goes down, and it, believe it or not, wraps around this pole. And then there's into a, I believe that's an eight foot ground rod that I got at Lowe's. And of course I've got a, I think that's a 12 uh, gauge aluminum ground type wire that runs into my shack there. I don't have any radials. Uh, they seem to think that they're not necessary. I'm not saying they won't help the antenna do better, but I don't have any. I do have one ground wire. Seems like uh, I've got one wire right here, and it goes around and it's buried, and I've got it running along here and over there to the fence and it's tied into the chain link fence and of course the chain link fence goes around my yard so I don't know if that helps or not but this is the antenna uh, it goes up it's pulled up with the insulator here to get it up above my head height and that's just basically a trout line that you can buy at Walmart nylon wax trout line and the antenna that looks like it's wrapped all in that with the 450 ohm ladder line that is my loop that's my loop antenna uh, it's fed at the corner and supported with my tower on average I'd say that's up maybe Maybe 18, 20 feet, I'm not sure. This is the 10 meter coil. Uh, it's got five turns. I think that's on an inch and a half piece of PVC. I'll check that for you, but it's all in Steve's uh, information on the in-fed half wave. And then here goes the wire. I don't know if you can see it, but it actually takes and it sort of droops down. And it heads right over to that, over the top of that old pickup truck and that old uh, utility building. And it's supported by another, what I call an eye hook insulator. And it's pulled through there. And then it goes straight directly east and there's an egg sinker there with a piece of nylon the rest of the way over to my oak tree. So that's it. I would say at the height of that part right there might be 20 or 25 feet at the most. I don't know. That height of that, the end of the antenna may rise a little bit more, maybe to 30 hard to say but whatever 
it works and it's gradually coming down and just slopes right on down and of course you can see where I have it pulled up with right there at the coil with that one insulator that hook insulator plastic by the way you can get those by the bag fulls at MSI I call it MSI some people call it uh, Mid-South Distributors or Agri Supply, I think it's called now. But uh, that's it. That's how I've got it running. And of course, my little old pizza RG8X coax running right up there through the crack of that door. Not no real elaborate <laughs> insulated system. Okay. There you have it, folks. It's on a, mounted on a landscaping timber bought from Lowe's. Two feet of it's buried in the ground. About six feet high. And uh, we'll see you later.